Hey guys, let's talk about the Tapu C510 W reset. It's pretty simple and there are different ways to do it. So physically, you're gonna need this paper clip to reset here using the button, or you can reset remotely using your app. Okay, I'm gonna show you different ways. Sometimes you just need to physically reset and sometimes you can just remotely reset so you don't need to reach the camera, right? So let's start here with the physical reset. Here is the lens, you just need to move up and open this case here. Sometimes you just have some screws that you need to remove. It's not the case for this camera. I just need to open that way. So it's pretty simple. And here you can find the reset button, okay? Then you just grab your paper clip, insert here, you see, and you hold for a while and just observe the LED here is going to change color, start flashing, or you can hear a message depending on the case, right? Depending on the camera model, firmer. Let me just press here and hold. There it goes, flashing. Now you just need to wait to become flashing red and green and you can do the setup again. You see, now it's flashing red and green. Let's just do a quick setup here. So you can reset later using the app, right? So here I have the Tapo app. There we go. I used to have the camera just right here. It's still showing up here, but it's not longer available, okay? Because it's not working anymore. So I need to add the camera again. So I just need to come here to this plus signal, add the camera again, add the device, look for outdoor camera and topo C10W, C510W. That's the one. It's blinking now, you see? Red and green. Let's just do this and connect to the camera. It's a basic setup. I have another video here uh, showing how to set up. Basically you connect to the camera, right? First, it becomes blue here. And then you come back here and finish the setup. You found the camera. It's a pre-configured device because I just reset it. You see, when I have the camera working already, the system knows. So I just keep existing settings. I'm not gonna reset everything here. But if you want, you can just reset by pressing there, right? Reset everything. Here, you just need to insert the password for the Wi-Fi, which is saved here already. Confirm, next. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. There we go, sounds good. Dismiss here, got it. That's the car, I already have it there. And the camera is back here working, all right? So let me just place the camera there, just close here. Place the camera back there and see if it's working. There we go. Topple C500, there we go. And now it's supposed to connect and start working, right? If it doesn't, you just need to close the app, open it again, connect to your camera, or just reload the camera. Okay, my key is not working. Let me just reload the camera here. Unplug, plug it back. It should be working now, okay? So that's one way you can do it. Let's just wait the camera restart here, but I'm gonna show you here anyway, the way you can reset when you have the app and the camera is working, you cannot reach the camera because it's far away or something like this. You just come here to your app when you have access to the camera and come here to the settings. And from here, you see there's this remove camera option. So basically there is no uh, an indication here, reset camera or, or something like this. It's just the remove option, but that is going to reset your camera anyway, okay? So the camera is working here, testing, it's finishing the, the pen and tilt test. Let me just put it in the correct position here. And then let me just see if I cannot have access to the camera right now. There we go. Whoops. Pen and tilt here. So it's working, you see it? So let's suppose you have the camera, it's working, and then you just need to reset because it's far away or something, you have access via cell phone, you just come here, 
reset the camera, remove the camera, confirm, and reset. You see, just got a message, reset successful, rebooting the camera, and you're gonna see the LED here is going to change. Well, basically it's the same thing that you do here with the app uh, as you do uh, just physically, right? So the camera is resetting right now. It does the test with the pan and tilt. So it goes horizontally and then vertically looking up and down, you see, down looks up and then you're gonna see the camera ready for setup again there we go it's flashing now and you can start the process all over again and set up your camera okay pretty simple let me just come here see the camera is no longer available here because I just removed it from here and I can just come here and add the camera all over again add a device Select outdoor cameras, Topple C510W, there we go, it's flashing, come here and look for the camera signal, uh, I'm supposed to look here for Topple Cam, there we go, that's the one. If you get this message, you just keep trying, it's going to work anyway, okay. Here, see that shows something like that's not connecting or something like this. Just try again and it's going to work for sure. So the second time, you see, it becomes blue back there. Then you just come here and continue. It's looking for the device and it found it. And you just proceed. There we go, username, uh, the router and password. Confirm. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. There we go, just give the camera a name. Next, office, next, next again. And choose an icon here. Next one more time. And there you go, the setup is complete, sounds good. This miss here, got it. SD card, got it, got it for the firm update. And the camera is here working, okay? I'll just put it back there again, one more time. And see that right now I have it working, but it's upside down, which means it's the default reset, a factory reset. Then I need to come here to video and display, for example, invert the image. Then I can have the camera working in the correct position and the pan and tilt, I can control and move the camera. Okay, so working pretty fine. So you can see here, it just work with the pan and tilt. Okay, and it's working. So different ways you can reset the camera physically and remotely okay so you see that physically i can reset and say that i want to keep the settings or i can complete a reset to factory default or i can remotely just remove the camera and the camera is reset to factory default all right i hope this helps please subscribe to this channel leave your thumbs up and your comments and i see you in the next video